guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. That's right, we're back here in Pokemon Emerald, and uh, in our last adventure, which took us like about nearly half an hour and all that stuff, we beat trainers, we grew levels, Swamp Lord finally evolved into Marsh Tom. Oh my god. And oh yeah, we got this nifty thing, this nifty doodad right here, the Pokemon Navigator. Now in our last episode, didn't explain what it was, I'm going to explain it right here. It is a contraption here that will actually uh, lead you to different places, you know, condition and all that stuff and whatnot. Actually, you know what, I, I, I'm going to explain it to you after I get out of here because there's one little thing that, that's missing. So, after de uh, delivering the Devon, or after getting the Devon goods from Team Aqua member, we have another mission on our hands. And, uh, oh, this guy's saying that, well, oh, Pokemon, yeah, okay, Pokemon feelings, describe the detail, yada, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, what was I, oh, developing new Pokemon, uh, Pokeballs and all this stuff, now, this place right here, I got, I got off so, like, I got off topic really badly, uh, yeah, so, we defeated the Team Aqua member, got the Devon Goods, now we have to be an Aaron Boy and go deliver that Devon Goods to some person in Slate, Slateport, but we also have a letter to to give to over on uh, do, do for it and all that stuff so we got a we got a few things to do here guys so we're gonna get the heck out of here you know do our thing right here now before we leave this guy finds us and he's like I've been developing an added feature for the Pokenab it turned out great Draven may I see your Pokenab the one our uh, the one our president gave you look at that there you go Draven I added a new feature named match call to your Pokenab Using the match call feature, you can chat with uh, people who, who you've uh, read or who've been registered to your Pokenab. Draven, our president Stone should be registered in your Pokenab. Test it out. Give our president a call. And, and I didn't even turn on anything. Like it just does it automatically. And if you don't do it, then you won't go anywhere. So here we go. The Pokenab match call. Look at that. You see that? And we're gonna call the president. Call. Ring, ring, ring. Mr. Stone. Oh, Draven, since you called me the president, the Pokenet must be working properly, Bigly. Other people will be registered, so try calling them up. Billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars. Make Hoenn great again. Good, good! You seem to be quite happy. Hmm, how could I know that? It's because I'm looking down at you from the front of my office. Go make, go make Hoenn great again. That was a bad impression. Really bad impression. I, I don't care. I really don't care. That is funny. And, uh, <laughs> see you again. Anywho. Now to describe the Pokenab right here. This is a contraption that back in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, you only had a Hoenn map and condition. And I think the other one was called, uh, I guess, Pokemon Trainers. You battled, I don't know, battles, uh, Pokemon battles or whatever. Hoenn map, it... No? Okay, so never mind. Hold on. Okay, I'd better get back to work. Please take care, Draven. Okay. Well, let's go back to the Pokenab. Now, if you go right here, obviously it's the Pokenab. You can look at everything from where you've uh, you've been. You can press A and you can zoom, and it actually shows you like a bit of a schematics of where you like what what's there at Poke uh, at the at the town. Now. What is the next one? The condition right here, it basically shows the condition of your Pokemon depending on, you know, what kind of, uh, what kind of contest you put them in. Like cool, beauty, cute, smart, and tough. And it has the status of every single one of the Pokemon that you've actually captured so far. Um, starts off with your strongest Pokemon all the way down to your weakest one. And yes, I nickname them all. Rocket, Shidori, Bomba, Spitball, Mila, you know, that kind of stuff. And, uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at what the condition is. So, as you can see, it's a nice, uh, what was it? Pentagon right here of what Pokemon, uh, status they are. The way you elevate these whole, uh, these, these conditions is through the berry blender and the berries. And you will be introduced to the berries over at Slateport, which, again, I said, I might do a berry contest, or I may do a contest here and there just to show you guys what it's all about. But the higher the type of condition it is, is basically the, you know, the, the contest they should be going to. And uh, as you can see, I have not done anything with any of these Pokemon. So that's why, you know, it's staying stagnant right there. Now the match call right here, hold on, let me just get back over here. 
it's a little different from what it was in uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Back then, you couldn't call these guys. The only way you knew that these guys wanted a battle was if they had a little bit of a Pokeball icon onto the side. Um, later on, you're gonna see you're, you're gonna see a few new features on there. Like you can call, you can even call gym leaders to actually battle them. And as you can see, number one registered, only one Pokemon trainer registered. Number of battles so far, I've had 27 battles, which is cool. Very, very cool. And uh, I guess we're done right here. A few errands to run, right? Let's see. Didn't even capture any Pokemon off screen because had a few things to do. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I already my Pokemon are all healed. So what I'm gonna do? Hey, look, it's May. I'm gonna go right here, and I'm going to buy a few items because. We got a few things to do along the way, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to buy five super potions. How many Pokeballs do we have? 16. You know what? Let's buy four more just to have an even 20. And that's pretty much... Actually, you know what? Um, got my eye on this right here because I know for a fact somebody's going to paralyze me. Somebody. Some dick is going to paralyze me and I'm not going to like it. So let's get the heck out of here. And uh, there's May. Hello, future wifey. And she's like, oh, hi, Draven. You had a match call feature put onto your Pokemon. Let's re let's register other, each other so we can contact one another anytime. Da -da -dot. And once you look at that, she registered her phone number to me. Uh. Oh, by the way, I passed by Mr. Briny in the Petalburg Woods. I guess he's on his way home to his cottage by the sea. How's your Pokedex coming along, Draven? Mine's looking pretty decent. So, how about a little battle? <sighs> God, I really love this. All right, let's do this. You just became a Pokemon trainer. I'm not going to lose. Yeah, but I, when I became a Pokemon trainer, quotation marks, uh, I beat you. And here she comes out with a Wingle. Really, you just became a Pokemon trainer yourself and you only have a Wingle? Oh wow, I'm so scared. Okay, so let's go with the Tackle Attack. Of course, Ground Type Attacks don't work on Flying Type Pokemon. There, there's that move right there. And uh, how are you faster than my Swamp Lord? I want to know. So there's that confusion. God, come on. There we go. Fatality. That's right. I said fatality. And you're gonna make, you're gonna come out with a Trico. So the best thing to do is go with Gaia right here. My Jaya. My J I A. My Gaia. That's right, Gaia. The Ralts right here. And uh, look at that Trico. It's looking pretty smooth. A smooth criminal right here. And I'm gonna go with a Confusion Attack. And uh, oh God, oh God, oh God. Yeah. So Trico is the Pokemon you shouldn't f with. And uh, there's that Leer Attack. Trying to lower my attack or my defense just a little more. So what I'm going to do, double team, because I know he's going to try and use that pound attack again. The less, they, or the more evasion I have, the more chance I can beat him. And, uh, God. So there we go. Two double teams. Hopefully that will just, like, make a miss next turn right here. So let's go with that super potion. Come on, guy. You got this. I believe in you. And, yeah, you missed. That's right. This Trico. This Trico right here will not miss on that pound attack, but you know what? I'm gonna try and confuse you. I believe in you. Oh, crud. Well, I tried. Okay. Whew. All right, let's go with Shadow right here. All right, Shadow. Let's do this. That's right. Let's howl. And this guy just going ham on me right now, so I'm going to howl two times. Two times and then I'm gonna attack. One big attack and this guy's just... Oh god. Okay, here we go. Howl attack. So my attack has increased just a little bit more. Let's do this. Tackle attack and oh god. That Leer attack. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Tackle attack. Oh, come on. It should have beaten you right there and oh god. There's that quick attack. Oh god. So, there's two of my Pokemon. Really? Alright, Shroomly. Show him who's boss. That's right, Shroomly. Let's do this. I have no... Oh, you know what? Let's do this! Yeah, he's trying to use that Leer attack. But you know what? I got something of my own right here. That's right. You are paralyzed, you jerk of a Trico. That's right. Two can play at this game right here. And... Uh, crap, let's just go with Bullets here right here. Since multiple attacks right now. That's one. That's two. Oh, crud. Come on, finish him off! That's three. Okay, I should probably go with Elite, elite Seed in the next turn. I don't know, that's five. Wow. 
This street girl just looks invincible. He looks majestic invincible. And Leech Seed sounds perfect right here. And it misses. Oh, crud. It doesn't affect the foe Trico. Okay, so... Note taken. So let's go with that Bullet Seed and... Oh, God. Come on. Let's go, Shroomly. Come on. Finish him off. Do it. Oh, crud. That was just two attacks. I'm just going to keep on going with that uh, Bullet Seed right there. Yeah, so my biggest flaw right now is probably Grass-type Pokemon, because I've struggled against those those little fuckers. And, uh, look at that. Bye bye Desperately need a Flying or, I don't know, Fire-type Pokemon. And like I said, I will find that Fire-type Pokemon that will complete my team. He's like, yikes, you're better than I expected. Yes, baby, I know I am. And she's like, oh, by the way, Mr. Briner, who just passed, uh... Draven, you just moved here, so you might not know who this is. Mr. Meyer, Mr. Briner was once a revered sea... Sea what? Sea riffer? Shoot, I don't even know. I just read that too quickly. All right, let me heal my Pokemon, because uh, this is bad. This is bad. So I probably need a Flying-type Pokemon. I probably need that at some point. I do have an idea of which Flying-type Pokemon I want. No, it is not Talo. I do have an, a, an idea. It's just I'm gonna have to get to do for it for that one. So I'm just gonna move Mosey along the way. And yes, I have Rocket right here. So now I can use that cut technique for. Let's see. There was a there was a place right here. There we are. Can use the cut technique right here just to you know get that get that thing right there. You know that Pokeball. Grab it. And here we have the X accuracy. So this whole entire time I was kind of hoping it was like a rare candy or something. And uh, let's see. Now we can hit up a shortcut right here into the Petalburg Woods and just grab that. Look at that. That's right. Cut that sucker. And uh, I think you can find an extra Pokemon in here. No, not Poochiana. No, if that was a shiny Poochiana, I would have caught it and just like change, like change it, like change its name to like Sunshine or Ghost or something. I don't even know. And here we have this pretty lady right here, and she's like, Oh, neat, that badge is from Rust Road Gym. You must be a trainer. You should try using this item. We got ourselves the Miracle Seed, which, of course, powers up any kind of grass-type attack. And uh, I think there are other convenient items for Pokemon to hold. Okay, yeah. So let's go ahead and switch that out. I, wait, I shouldn't use that. Okay, what, 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 what the heck am I doing? Jesus. No, I'm, the heck, man. I must be smoking something, which I'm not. Switch and uh, let's see. Should probably give that quick claw to. Let's see. You know, I'm gonna give it to Swamp Lord because I know that's gonna be a little bit slow at, uh, in the long run. Usually happens with these kinds of water type Pokemon. No, super bulky, very slow. And uh, there's another Pokemon we're ready to attack us, and it is not a shiny Poochiana. Hmm. Do not want to battle you. Move. I'm gonna go away. Alright, so let's grab this item right here. We got a Great Ball, which is cool. Another Great Ball, you know, helps us capture rare Pokemon. Rarer per Pokemon. And uh, there's a little square right there, so I'm pretty sure there's a hidden item, right? Hidden item, item, tiny mushroom. Don't know what that does. I think you can sell it or something. And here we have this, the X attack. Could have used that against May or something. Thank you very much. And I think we already talked to this guy. Yes, we already did. Already talked to this guy, getting the heck out of here. And we are in Route 104. That's right, look at that. We're in Route 104. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, we don't really have to do anything else. Let's just go to Mr. Briny right here. He's following his Pico, and I'm going to be like, Hey, hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Hmm, Draven, you saved my darling Pico. We owe you so much. What's that? You have, uh, you want to sail with me? Hmm. You have a letter to, bound to Duford and a package to Slayport. Then, it's quite busy life. You live. You must lead. In, in, you must lead. Wow, I cannot read right. But certainly, what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to uh, the right man. We'll sit sail for Duford, right? Heck yes. Duford it is. Then anchors away, Pico. We're set to sail, my darling. Alrighty, okay. So here we are. You know, set and sail. Look at that. We could use a surf attack, but we don't have a surf attack. And look at that. All the things you could see and what you could potentially be battling in the future. And we got a call. Holy crud. Beep. Dad. Oh, Draven. Where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. 
I just heard from, uh, from Devon's uh, Mr. Stone that you're about your Pokemon, so I decided to give you a call. It sounds like you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. You can take care now. I approve. And look at that, we got our dad's number, I guess. I don't know. Alrighty, so that's another person's number right there, and uh, Route 106, and uh, look at that. Pretty cool right here. I wish I could drive one of these things. He's like, Ahoy, we've hit the land of Duford. I suppose you're off to deliver that uh, letter to... Uh, to who ha to was it now? Steven? Oh, yeah, Steven. Okay, so here we are in Duford Town. And no, I am not taking a break right here, guys. We're going to make a tour of this place right now because... Why not? Duford Town is pretty boring. Um, let's see. Did I kill my Pokemon? I want to heal my Pokemon. Let me see if I can heal my Pokemon. No, I did not heal my... Or I already healed my Pokemon. So I don't need to be in the Pokemon Center. So here we are, Duford Town. Uh, place of the second gym battle that we are going to go to later on. And this guy's like, uh, the, na the name is Brawly. A way of fighting fighting or whatever. Talk to this guy. He's like, this is a renowned fishing spot. Are you getting the itch to fish? Heck yes. I hear you. I like what I uh, what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. And then here we are. The old rod, which, you know, it's not that much, but it's still something. And then as an added bonus, I'll even throw a little bit of fishing advice. First, you want to face the water, then use the rod. Focus your mind. If you get a bite, pull on the rod. Sometimes you can get a snag something, or you can snag something immediately, but with the bigger catches, you need time to pull on your rod to haul them in. Hmm. What he means is, in this generation right here, guys, fishing is just a little bit different. And I will show you in just a little bit now. We're going to take a tour of these small places first, like this one. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot to be said for living on a small island like this in harmony with uh, Pokemon in the family. Oh, okay. And I left the major part of Slateport City when I married my husband here. Life goes by slowly on this little island, but being surrounded by the, peop uh, the beautiful sea, that's happiness too, I guess. Unless there's hurricanes or something, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Um, you know what? Let me show you how to fish right now, guys. So technically we're in Route Seven. Technically we're in Route uh, Duford Town. Route Seven, 107, Duford, whatever. Okay. So what the fisherman means right here that in Generation Three, fishing kind of got a little different. Now when you use a rod, you're using it and you're waiting to snag it. Now once it does this. A bite you press the button you have to press it again and then you'll get your bite press it any earlier or any later the snag will go away and this is new to me a tentacle hmm why hello tentacle we meet again and if you guys remember when I was Draven XC711 I did have a tentacle on my team and if you guys remember that epic battle against uh, what was it what was his name uh, Wallace or whatever his name is saved my butt and won us the battle that's right. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is uh, well, I'm going to try and capture it. I'm not going to use him on my team because I already have a water type Pokemon on my team. I just want to capture him because he's cool. And uh, yeah, this is one of these Pokemon. One of these weird Pokemon that just likes to use Supersonic and all that crud. And uh, come on, Swamplord. Be a man. That's right. Oh, crud. Okay. Not very effective. Supersonic. And uh, come on. Stay out of the confusion. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. Um, don't like that. Come on. Snapped out of confusion. Go with one more water gun to see if we can capture this Pokemon right here. And uh, it doesn't really do much damage, but that's exactly what I'm trying to do. My Swamp Lord's pretty strong right here. Don't want them to, to make this tentacle faint right away. So let's go with that Pokeball. Yes, I got 20 Pokeballs ready to go right here. Stay in there. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. That's right, you're staying in the ball. That's right. Stay in the ball. So, here we have a Tentacool, the jellyfish Pokemon. And its body is almost entirely composed of water. It ensnares its foe with its two long tentacles, then stabs the uh, stabs it with the poison stingers at its at their tips. Okay. Hmm. Nickname. What kind of a nickname should I give this Pokemon? Let's see. Jelly, Jelly Benny. You know what? I'm gonna call him this. Jelly. Jelly Benny. I'm gonna call him Jelly Benny because Venom, Benny. You know, Jelly Benny. That's right. 
it's not gonna be on my team by the way so that's how you fish guys now let's go ahead and just keep on talking to everybody do for his tiny island community if something gets trendy here everybody picks up on it right away oh never really knew what this whole trendy thing was all about so it is what it is gorge your eyes on this it's a silk scarf it's right at the cutting edge of a fashion yeah oh i see it in your eyes twinkling you appreciate my dazzling style oh you're a delight here you go i want you to have it and here we have a silk scarf pretty cool huh pretty cool item and then uh, while well, you're wait you bothered to cross the sea to visit doofer did you maybe come here to because you heard about brawly he's so cool everybody idolizes him you know the only brawly i idolize we just saw a documentary about him a few weeks ago you know a very cool documentary that made him look a little bit better if not even cooler you know, that kind of brawly. You guys know what I'm talking about. Comment down below on which brawly I'm talking about. And, uh, Duford Hall, everybody's information exchange right here. And, uh, hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so everybody right here has a little bit of something right here. now. I'm studying up on the hip uh, and trendy entertaining festival. Now, uh, is... Wait, 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 wait. Is it true that there's a deep link between a training festival and the song? I'm just going to say yes because whatever. Oh, so my hunch was right. I'm one step closer to being hip and happening. Yowza. So that entertaining thing, whatever. Yeah, it's going to be. Everybody's going to say, I don't care. Uh, huh. You know who you are. Comment down below. Yeah, comment down below and explain to me what this whole trendy thing is all about. I'm, I I think it has something to do with like the Pokemon you get, ID number, all that stuff. I really don't care. It's specifics and all that stuff. So we're moving up right here. And we have more Pokemon trainers. And uh, let's see. I'm going to switch it up to Gaia right here because I kind of have a feeling this guy has a Pokemon that we already have. And he's like, what do people do if they need to go to the washroom? What if my rod hooks on the big one while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. Hey, man, when you got to go, you got to go. You guys don't know what a washroom is? It's the bathroom. Here we have Fisherman Red, or Ned, and he's coming out with a tentacle. Mm -hmm. Gaia, about to destroy you. Gaia's about to destroy you because... Crud. Supersonic right there. And, uh, come on. Come on, Gaia. You have an advantage against this guy. That's right. And there's that super effective sound. I love that sound. And, uh... Oh, crud. Okay, we, we better finish this guy quickly, and wow. How? Oh, wow. Okay, snapped out of confusion. That's okay with me, as long as I'm not confused, because it's usually a double thing. And look at that, super effective. Guy is still hurt by that poison. Good gravy. And, uh, good gravy, another super sonic. Uh, come on. Come on, Gaia. Do it for the bitches. Or do it for the dudes. Come on. And there we go. Finish him off. Tentacool defeated. Yeah, I get some experience points. And look at that. Ned is like, I lost because I'm trying not to go to the washroom? Not really, man. Sometimes you can do some amazing things when you needed to go take a poop or a piss. So I'm going to heal up my Pokemon right here. Do I have a... I think I do. Yeah, there we go. We got three. Always stock up on your items, guys. Remember that. And uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, we have a lot of berries right here. Okay. Um... What am I looking for? Oh, yeah. The Silk Scarf usually raises up normal attacks. But do I have a normal... Well, I'm going to go with Shadow. I know it's a Dark-type Pokemon, but it does have a normal-type attack as its only move right now. And so that should power it up a little bit. Trainer Tips! Advice on catching Pokemon with Rod. Press A button if you get a bite. Well, I already showed you guys how to do that, so... Don't really need advice right here. And here we have a Stardust, which you can actually sell for a nice amount of money. I'm not going to battle you yet. There's something right here that I can't get to yet. And, uh... Well, I wanted to switch up Pokemon, but I couldn't do it. It's like, which do you prefer? Fishing in the sea or in the stream? It's very easy, guys. I like fishing. I just like fishing. I don't know. So here we go, Fisherman. Alien coming out with a Magikarp. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. Hopefully we get, like... Hopefully... You know, it grows low right here, and Splash Attack won't do us any good right here. So, here we go. Confusion Attack. And another Confusion Attack. This guy is just, you know, just attacking me with Splash's attacks. He's splishity splashity trying to pet me, you know. 
that kind of stuff. And there goes Magikarp, defeated, almost gains a level, and ooh, Titan Tentacool. Okay, let's do this. Bring it. I'm gonna destroy you, Tentacool, just like I destroyed your brother, that poison bee. That's right, confusion attack. Ooh, that was uh, that was a nice hit right there. So it must mean guys are getting a little bit more stronger, you know? I'm excited. I'm very excited about that one, guys. And uh, there you go. Tentacool defeated. Gaia grows to level 12, which is awesome. It's so good. And uh, coming out with another Magic Carp. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna give this one to uh, yeah I'm gonna give this one to Shadow. Okay, Shadow, do your thing. Let's do it. Fisherman Elliot coming out with a Magic Carp, and I will go with a Tackle Attack. Remember, Magic Carp does have a nice high defense, even though it kind of sucks as a Pokemon. And uh, well, I'm just I'm just gonna be tackling away. I, I'm not gonna howl or anything. I'm just gonna tackle. Ooh, those splash attacks are just like, brutal, brutality at its finest. And there we go, critical hit. That's right. And look, good experience points, that's good. Like in the deep, wait, like in the deep sea fishing, I lost spectacularly. Hmm, that's good, yeah. Okay, fishing's great, but uh, so, it, it, so is battling. If you don't mind, can we meet again? Heck yes. Now, another good thing, or a good thing about this whole Poking app thing is, it's not gonna be like in Pokemon Crystal where they're gonna keep on calling you on inconvenient times. They're gonna call you just specifically for battles. That's it. That is it, guys, so. That's cool. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna we're just gonna pause it right here because this this cave right here is a whole new adventure. We need to train up the next trainer, the next gym leader is a little hard. So stay tuned, guys. In our next episode, we will be going through this whole place, kicking some butt, taking some names, you know that kind of stuff. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.